Imagine this, you've just launched your very first server on AWS. You're excited to build something, maybe a personal website, a portfolio, or even your next big idea. But there's one problem. How do you actually access this server? How do you open it up to the world securely? Hi everyone, welcome back to Bagascara Labs. In today's video, we're going to help you take that first real step. We'll guide you through how to access your EC2 instance over the internet using SSH for secure remote login and HTTP to serve your first web page. Whether you're a beginner or just brushing up, this is where it all starts. Let's dive in and get your server online. First, head over to your AWS EC2 dashboard and click on Launch Instance. Give your instance a name. Under Amazon Machine Image, choose Amazon Linux 2. It's lightweight and eligible for the free tier. Then, pick an instance type. T2.micro is a great choice for testing and small workloads. Scroll down to Network Settings. Make sure to enable auto-assign public IP so your server is accessible from the internet. Next, create a new security group and add these two rules. SSH port 22 to connect securely from your terminal. HTTP port 80 to serve your website content to the internet. Now here's the cool part. Scroll down to Advanced Details and paste in this user data script. This script will automatically update your server, install Apache, start the service, and generate a simple home page that displays your server's host name. Finally, click Launch Instance and wait for it to start up. And now, you open your browser and paste the public IP. But then, nothing happens. No page loads, no connection, just time out. You try to troubleshoot. Telnet 80, still no response. Telnet 22, same thing. Connection refused. If this is happening to you, don't worry, the problem isn't your EC2, your firewall, or even your web server. It's your VPC networking. Even though your EC2 has a public IP, if your VPC doesn't have an internet gateway, or your subnet's route table doesn't route traffic to the internet, then your instance is cut off. It's like having a phone with a number, but no signal. You can't call out, and no one can call you. But don't worry, the fix is simple. You just need to set up an internet gateway and tell your network, hey, this is the way out to the internet. Let's do it step by step. First, we create the internet gateway. It's like installing a front door to your VPC. Head to the VPC dashboard, click Internet Gateways, and hit Create. Give it a name and click Create Internet Gateway. Next, attach it to your VPC. Just select your VPC and click Attach. Now your VPC is connected to the outside world. But the last piece, and this is the part most people miss, is telling your subnet how to use the gateway. Go to Route Tables, find the route table linked to your subnet, and add a new route. Destination 0.0.0.0.0 Target Internet Gateway. This tells your EC2 instance, for all internet traffic, go through the IGW. Save the changes and you're done. Now, go back to your EC2 public IP. Paste it into the browser. Bam, you're online. And not just that, 
Now you can also access your EC2 via SSH from anywhere over the internet. But remember, with great access comes great responsibility. Make sure your security group only allows SSH from trusted IPs, not the whole world unless it's for learning or demo purposes. So now your EC2 instance isn't just running, it's online, accessible, and fully connected to the internet. You've learned how to identify why a public IP alone isn't enough, set up an internet gateway, edit route tables, and finally, access your server via SSH and HTTP from anywhere over the internet. This is the foundation of real-world cloud networking, and now you own it. If this video helped you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more real-world AWS tutorials, only on Bugaskara Labs. See you in the next one, and as always, stay curious, stay learning, and keep building in the cloud.